2011 valedictorian Nathan Polinski. Mr. Young, Mr. Wansville, and everyone else who has helped me along the way. Throughout the past 13 years, I have learned a limitless array of topics and ideas. I have met countless people and made an abundance of friends. All these people have contributed to lessons and memories that take me back to elementary school. Remember back in Grado when we went up to Deep Portage? Or when we always played in that gym? When Stan Menson killed and then showed us the bat? We did not even know it then, but we were being prepared for our future and learning all the time just by listening to each other and being exposed to society. To society. We, were all, we all learned to read a book and say the alphabet, to count to 100 and add 2 plus 2. We even explored different parts of our country in our chairs with research. And all of this was still in elementary. Then we moved on to middle school, and the grade book kids moved to a bigger school and were taken back by all of the people. After the first week, we started to get to know one another and even make friends. There, we learned how to build a gumball machine, how a relationship worked, and the beloved algebra. You remember Valley Fair and Sibley Park? But that too we moved out of and on to bigger things yet with high school. Once there we met even more people. Classes were more in depth. We learned what he gave us here and coma stops means. We have learned everything from how to overhaul a snowmobile to cooking a meal, from the area under a curve to what a thesis statement is. Some of us even memorized 300 digits of pi. <laughs> We even learned about Norman Borlaug and his one billion people that he saved. And also how to judge a cow. <laughs> but the things most cherished are the friendships gained and lessons about life we have all attained knowledge of. We are here tonight to celebrate our accomplishments. Everyone here has learned something new every day, even if they are not willing to admit it. Everyone has stated how they dislike school and wish it was over. They will enjoy these days and reflect back upon them. This marks an end of one phase in our life. Everybody at this point will move on to bigger and better things, careers, marriages, babies, and just life. We have all made mistakes, but we have all learned from these mistakes. Lessons have been learned and expectations have grown. From here on out, things will be different. With the economy and the budget the way it is, we are all going to have to adapt. Every person in this room has the skills to learn, mindset to succeed, abilities and creativity to make a difference in the world as we know it today. We have learned what it means to lose, but still strive to win. The students here will move on to the real world. Some may win and some may lose. Some will struggle and others will prosper. But we will all succeed in the game of life. Class of 2011, we will no longer have to ask our classmates each morning to try and figure out what homework we forgot to do last night, or try to figure out what, what to do that day. We now have to worry about rent and what to eat without our, without our mothers to prepare our food. For the class of 2011, I would like to tell everyone here that we made it, we did it, we have graduated. There is dignity in suffering, nobility in pain, but failure is the salted burden that burns. A salted wound that burns and burns again. 
The struggle, both difficult and simple at times, with help from each other and support from the teachers who pulled through. Thank you for being here tonight. I wish everyone the best of luck. And remember Lillian Dixon's words as you move forward. Life is like a coin. You can spend it any way you wish, but you can only spend it once. Thank you, everyone.